winner of the Impact Award for Ocean Conservation Photographer of the Year is Simon Lorenz with this image of a turtle caught in fishing net. 21 minutes past seven and we've got some stunning, some of them shocking pictures for you now because the Ocean Photographer of the Year Awards always produce some stunning images of life beneath the waves. But this year's competition has seen a, a shift in focus. Uh, they're also looking at the impact of humans on marine life. Yes, the winner was this. It's beautiful but heartbreaking image of a sea turtle which has become entangled in abandoned fishing nets off the coast of Sri Lanka. It was taken by a German photographer, Simon Lawrence, who managed to cut the animal free after taking this picture. In my line of work, I do see it quite often, unfortunately, that uh, marine animals are trapped. Um, it, it is painful to see because obviously uh, we are, as a human, the cause of of the situ the underlying situation so in this case it's a it's a mass of nets uh which fishermen use to catch fish not turtles and somehow this ghost net um came adrift or whatever happened to it but we are the reason these animals are stuck in 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 trash like that well, simon who took that winning photograph let's talk now to hannah rudd who's a marine biologist and a conservationist good morning to you good morning thanks for coming in um i mean the good news is that in that particular case the the turtle survived simon rescued it after taking the picture but heartbreaking to see it tangled up in those nets yeah no absolutely um and unfortunately this is becoming you know more and more common throughout the world's ocean particularly looking at things like ghost nets, um, you know, discarded nets from commercial fishing vessels um, that are just left and they essentially drift through the ocean and continue to fish um, for, for the rest of their lives. So they might just they might catch turtles and they might catch dolphins, whales, seabirds, other marine life. Um, but this one was lucky um, and luckily, uh, thankfully there was a human there to, to cut him out um, and, and let him live another day. Incredible image, also an incredible story. How important is it that we look at these images and also know the story behind them. Yeah, absolutely. You know, the ocean is out of sight, out of mind for so many people. And, you know, we've, we've just heard everyone has so much going on in their, their minds right now um, that it can be hard to, to consider another thing, another shocking thing that's happening that's on the planet. incredible work was recognised in the Ocean Photographer of the Year Awards for 2022. And for the first time, the ocean conservation category was split into two, impact and hope. Well, let's show you the photograph taken by Simon Lorenz that won the Impact Award. It shows a desperate olive ridley turtle trapped in discarded fishing nets and rubbish off the coast of Sri Lanka. Well, we can bring in Simon now to hear more about that photo and the turtle's rescue. Simon Lorenz, uh, congratulations on this award, first of all. Uh, it's a really beautiful photograph, but a really troubling one as well. So tell us a little bit more about it and how you came to take it. Thank you very much. Yeah. I'm glad to, to be able to talk about it. Um, so we were out on the ocean looking for whales, which is uh, sort of my business, taking people out to, to swim with whales and other wildlife. And uh, we generally inspect any trash or any floating mass that we can see. And this one, you could see immediately that there was something alive. Um, I jumped in um, before my guests and, and had a look. And uh, you could see that the turtle was still well and alive, but totally entangled. So I uh, snapped a couple of the photos, including the one that you just showed, and then um, the guide uh, started working with the machete to uh, free the turtle and then finally I got my guests in as well and we all worked together to free the turtle and uh, checked she didn't have any injuries she looked healthy and well so we uh, set her off on her way and uh, yeah gave it a very good uh, good ending yeah and it's, it's just an alarming cloud of debris that this poor turtle was dragging behind her so how common a sight is that in the oceans in Sri Lanka uh, in all the oceans, we have a lot of trash. So in my line of work, I see that everywhere. Um, in Sri Lanka, uh, we, we have a lot of these fishing nets. We also have a lot of plastic. So we found lots of turtles that ingest um, uh, the, the plastic um, and, and then have buoyancy problems. So generally, we found on this trip several uh, either distressed or unhealthy looking turtles or turtles that were dead already. So it is a very common problem. The turtles mistake uh, uh, the 
primarily plastic bags for jellyfish, which is something that they eat. And then they eat it and then th it makes them buoyant so they cannot dive anymore and the sun will dry them out and they cannot dive to, to actually feed. So it's a big problem. Ghost nets is another problem that we have in all the oceans uh, and they are a trap for marine life. Here you can see now in the video how um, the turtle's being freed and my guests are helping there in the water. Um, and I think if you show the whole thing, then in a moment she'll swim off. You can see she's, she's got no injuries. So she was very lucky that we found her. This was uh, 35 miles off offshore, so quite far away. Yeah, such a beautiful does. sight, seeing her, her swimming away free. Um, f f fantastic to see that. Tell us a little bit about how much harder it is to take photographs underwater than on the Earth's surface. I mean, there are presumably so many different extra elements you're dealing with. Um, yeah, I actually put one of my cameras there behind me, or two rather. Um, so we actually use normal cameras, but they need to be relatively high end. And then we put them into, in this case, a metal housing. Um, but everything that you know about photography above water, it doesn't really apply underwater. It's very diff different. The light is very different. This picture you're showing right now has like above water and below in one picture, which is another challenge. We have very difficult uh, circumstances, but it's very doable. Uh, it's a huge hobby for us scuba divers and free divers. And um, with a little bit of um, coaching, perhaps, um, everybody can take photos like this. Pretty sure I can't, but thanks for the encouragement anyway. <laughs> um, and you won the Impact Award at, at these photography awards. What impact do you want to have? Well, first of all, it's, it's a real honor that uh, now for the first year where they have the two categories that I won the Impact Award. And that's why I actually jumped in first and took some photos because I knew we were going to try to save this turtle. but. Um, if we can get images that tell such an emotional message, and the more, of course, we can reach uh, people with, with photos and media with this kind of emotional reaction, the more people will, will think about trash that they produce, because it might end up in a landfill, but it also might end up in an ocean. So, so really, when, when I saw this, this, this situation, I was like, this is a very good uh, possibility to create something that, that influences people in their uh, garbage decisions do you think people are changing their habits at all do you think the message is starting to get through well look i mean in in the uk in europe in north america maybe to some degree we already have some change at heart people think about you know not using uh, single-use plastic in in straws etc but we do need to think bigger and in these countries like sri lanka indonesia where we go often philippines thailand the whole southeast asia and africa uh, people have bigger problems and the thought about plastic is is really not a, a big one so very often we see people just throwing their cigarettes and their trash into the water um, or into the beach area which will then go into the water so education is really important uh, i think the one little limelight is that uh, a lot of uh, textile producers are now using recycled plastics uh, for their sportswear and they're actually buying up plastic so it's just in the maldives where where they were telling me that a lot of the uh, uh, plastic gets collected now because it can be sold so that's actually a, the first real limelight that i could see in these kind of countries but for everybody else it's uh, you know we all need to work together to reduce any negative impact we have on these oceans because the ocean sustains us all Okay, well, um, Simon Lorenz, really interesting to talk to you today. And thanks so much for sharing those incredibly beautiful images with us. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Anna. But the winner of the Impact Award for Ocean Conservation Photographer of the Year is Simon Lorenz with this image of a turtle caught in fishing nets. Nane, this is so, so strong, this image. You've got not only the huge weight of that fishing net, but an alive turtle still, luckily, and a whole story with it. Tell us more about it. Yeah, this image really perfectly embodies the ghost net problem that we have and uh, the problem about entangled turtles. You know, we've got this very alive turtle just dragging this huge bundle of nets. One of our judges, Sean Heinrichs, he, he summed it up quite perfectly. He said, you know, the, the impact of this image is so big because the turtle is still alive and you can see the struggle in his eyes. Yeah, huge congratulations to you, Simon Lorenz. We caught up with Simon, as always, to tell us some more about the winning image.
I was always a photographer above water and animals were always something interesting but you rarely get close. So once I was scuba diving, I immediately had this like desire to, to, to bring that, what I saw out and show it to people. I run Inside a Diver, it's a travel company, so we go out really far, sometimes 40 miles offshore, trying to find, in this particular situation, with blue whales and sperm whales, and um, there's a lot of nothingness out there. So we look and stare at the horizon, um, and people are starting to get a little bit, you know, it's Eve. So uh, generally anything that we find, we jump in on. So I always look for floating islands, because there's so much life. But in this particular one, which was a very big uh, ghost net mass, I saw that there was a turtle flapping at the surface. You could see you know, it was flapping. Uh, I jumped in and so you can see the turtle in there almost as if it was set up. She's like, the, the net fits perfectly over the carpus and you know, it's almost a bit too, too clean. But I could tell immediately she didn't have growth on her body, which would have shown us that she's been struggling for quite a while. But then you also see all the life around it, all the fish that are living around it. So I had a look, took a couple of photos before um, actually the guide got in with the knife um, because I thought we need to capture that. This is what our trash does. This is what our discarded nets can do to marine life. We checked that there was um, A, no more nets left, but also no injuries. Um, and once she was free, you can let her go and hopefully she's still swimming today. The conservation story is a really important one. We all know that there's a lot of rubbish in the ocean and it is a threat. Uh, and that turtle would most definitely have died um, uh, staying entangled like that. We need to show it because people care and you give them something that they can use to voice their care. Well, congratulations to you, Simon. It is a really powerful picture, isn't it? Yeah, it shows really that problem that many sea turtles face in our oceans and kind of makes you reconsider some choices you make probably on a day-to-day -day life. And that's the, the embodiment of this category or what we try to achieve, I guess. Absolutely. Next up, of course.